Hello everyone and welcome back to Wolf Quest 2.7 here with the Dawn Pack. And we have finally finished with the second litter that Dawn and Onyx have been able to raise together. And it did end in a few tragedies and a lot of mysteries and some paths that you guys had to vote on in order to pick who would inherit the side story that we have in between litters and the answer is Crow. So you guys actually picked Crow of the two remaining brothers from Don and Onyx's second litter because Crow is quite curious about the stranger wolves and some things that his father, Onyx, who really seemed to favor him as a pup, might be able to tell him about those strangers. But before we got started today, I thought it would be fun to actually modify Don's figure and make her into Crow for this side story adventure so we can keep all of the experience that Crow has gained from the Dawn Pack so far and build on top of that in an attempt to, there's a reason for this, to get the rank achievement a little bit higher. So I think it'll help us to try to kind of like gently push that rank achievement up. But when I was getting ready to modify Dawn, and don't worry, Dawn will still be there. She'll still be fine. But when I was getting ready to like put in some modifications and make Dawn uh, into Crow, I realized we have all of these other wolves that we have saved over all of the generations that I really wanted to show you guys again, because this is kind of amazing. Look at how many dozens and dozens of wolves there are. No wonder I feel like we have absolutely explored every edge of the wolf quest world because in so many ways we have. We have Dawn right now. And before that, we had, uh, like, before this litter, we had Moose, her gigantic son, who actually led his own side stories last time. And he became the, the lucky rabbit foot wolf because he actually slayed the 100th rabbit out of all of the wolf packs we've had. So when I talk about the history and the legacy of our packs, I'm talking about this. <laughs> Look at all of these wolves. Look at them. This isn't even all of the puppies we had. This is just the wolves that we did side stories and adventures with. Look at how many there are. They And they're, they're not even all of them because it just stretches all the way down to bear. And then we've got Rain, we have Starlight, Pluto, Firestar, Rigel, Atlas, Nightlight. Oh, Nightlight and Eclipse. Now there are some memories. How many of you guys remember those two? Because Nightlight and Eclipse happen to be some of the more famous wolves in our Wolf Quest adventures. We have Moon Dancer, who was also a very famous one that was also quite, um, quite hated actually. I think she is the least popular and most hated out of all of the wolves we've ever had because she was more focused on her romance and her love with her mate than actually raising her pups and they suffered because of that. We have Berry, Spring, Cloud, Sunny, Dewdrop, Droplet, Ripple, Blaze, Comet, Ember, Stella, and these are just the wolves that made it to adulthood. Dipper, Moonlight, Selena, Altar, Lunala. Oh, Lunala was another very contested wolf. Some of you guys loved her, some of you guys did not. Astrid, Andromeda, Misty, Rainbow, Aqua, and then the general Moon Pack and Storm Pack when we were changing the wolves from generation to generation to try to keep their experience. Quartz, Star Dancer, Clover, Aura, Pebbles, oh Pebbles, Spirit, Kuma, the bear butt biter, and Usagi, the rabbit hunter. Oh, and that's not even all of them. I, but I just wanted to show you guys because this is so much fun to see all of the old wolves and to remember all of the journeys we've gone on and all of the adventures. And for those of you who are just jumping in and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so many, or if you're even like me and you're like, man, I really, I want to remember what Barry's story was. We do have a team currently working on a sick, secret wiki. It is secret until we can get it kind of organized and up and going. But I wanted to give a huge shout out of thanks to Dawn because, uh, or excuse me, Duskflower and Dawn, of course, but sorry, Duskflower. <laughs> I was thinking D's, Dawn, Dusk, they're kind of similar. But Duskflower has been helping us quite a bit, you guys, in organizing all of the information on the public WolfQuest Wikia into our private wiki. And if you guys have worked with the private or like the public Wikia before, definitely maybe send her a message or two over on the Wikia and we'll slip you guys in through the secret 
channels and the secret back way. So if you would like to help with getting our wolf quest things organized on the brand new ad free wiki uh, that will be privately hosted by me, then you can you can talk to them because I know a lot of you guys are looking for projects to do for the summer and some of you love our wolves. And if you want to go and do that, then go for it. So now that I have told you guys about that uh, and just glanced at all of these wolves, let's go ahead and tell Crow's story. And I was quite impressed that you guys picked Crow, but I think it's because all of you are very curious about what secrets he may learn. So we're gonna actually modify Dawn a little bit so we can carry all of the experience that she had gained. And we are going to change her into Crow, her son. So let's change the coat. Crow actually has a very black coat, or like a very gray coat. It has deep, glossy black undertones, but actually kind of a whitish hue across the top. He is not a super dark wolf, but he is a black wolf. And then he also is not as strong as his brother because of all of the sicknesses that he went through. He survived almost just through luck of all of those sicknesses as a pup. Nightpaw was the stronger of the two, and he is going to be, he has more stamina as a result, but he is not as speedy and he's not quite as strong as, uh, let's actually pull his speed down a little bit more. There we go. Yeah, he's not as speedy or as strong as Nightpaw was. And for those of you wondering what Nightpaw's journey would have been, there we go. That's a good classic howl for Crow. For those of you wondering what Nightpaw's journey would have been, I'll let you know in just a little bit. But let's go ahead and begin life with Crow. And let me roll to see. Oh, he gets it pretty easy at dusk. So that's what his first day on Amethyst Mountain is going to be all about. Here we go. So we are beginning. Oh, there's a bear down there eating. I want... <laughs> That's my food. All right, so he actually gets it pretty easy, which is pretty exciting for him. We change the difficulty every single day we play with our wolves. And this is, you know, this is a really sunny day. He kind of prefers the shadows. So we're gonna run over to this rock just cause it's closest. And he's not exactly, oh, and that's a coyote. Oh, but we chased the coyote out of the shadows. All right, let's go ahead and clear this coyote out of the way and gain his first bit of experience. Get out of here. And as usual, I kind of imagine, since we can't eat the coyote, that we're just sort of chasing it off. Uh, all right, we're gonna have Crow jump up here. And he is going to get himself comfortable under this boulder as he thinks about the fact, oh my gosh, there's the other coyote. <laughs> really, did we stumble on a den of coyotes like the first thing Crow does? Oh my goodness. All right, well fine, I'm gonna sleep under this boulder then. All right, and you, you back off too. We may be new to this area, but Crow has arrived. Ah, this is better. Oh, no, it's not. It has a grizzly bear. Whoa. All right, I think he found himself in unexpected battle. All of all the poor wolf wanted was like a nap through the hot afternoon because he prefers shadowy evenings. Uh, all right, I think we have chased the grizzly bear away now too. Jeez Louise, all right. And we can go ahead and curl up in the shade of this rock or not. We can, we can bat at the grass really, really eagerly. There we go. And make it dusk. Because he did roll for a pretty easy day at dusk, being his beginning here on Amethyst Mountain. This is traditionally the place where we would come in search for a mate. But Crow is actually here on a special journey. As you guys know, his father Onyx always favored him for some unknown reason that was even outside of my ability to control. And as time went on and Crow lived and became stronger, he really gained Onyx's trust and Onyx felt closer to his son Crow than he had any of his pups before. So when the time came to train them in the summer hunting grounds and they grew from gawky juvenile wolves into dispersal wolves, Onyx with the burden of his heart of worrying so much about his brother from the Dark Raven pack, finally told Crow about that. He doesn't know, none of, the, none of the wolves of the Dawn Pack know that the Dark Ravens are actually keeping an eye out on them and hoping to kidnap some of their pups because they have struggled for years to have healthy pups of their own. But 
they do know that something's up. They do know that, unfortunately, the brother that Onyx remembers from his youth is no more. Now that they have become different packs, they will have to fight one another for territory. And that there was something kind of mysterious about how Raven called his pack off of hunting his brother when his brother wandered into that stranger wolf territory when Crow, Nightpaw, and Primrose were still just pups. So he knows something's up and he knows that there are some secrets in the pack and it weighs heavily on Onyx, especially after such a disastrous second litter with Dawn. And it gave Crow a lot to be curious about. So that's why we're here. That's why we're here on this mountain because Crow wants to know the secrets. He is more interested in discovering what kind of secrets the various packs may have, what kind of plans may have been whispered on the winds, and using those secrets to take care of the Dawn pack and hopefully take care of whatever branch of the family he might one day have. So Crow's job is to be the seeker of secrets. And we are going to be traveling between the three different packs that are here on Amethyst Mountain, trying to find those secrets by confronting, fighting, and stealing the secrets from the different pack members. You're probably wondering why that, Siri? Well, that's because we do have an achievement I am after called dun -da -da, King of the Hill, where we need to win 50 encounters with Stranger Wolves. And that is actually where you have to fight with the Stranger Wolves that you meet while you're on Amethyst Mountain or you're over in uh, the big, empty, <laughs> spooky um, city. So I decided Amethyst Mountain is our, our, our area of choice because that is where so many of the wolf packs gather. And Crow is very curious, much as his sister Primrose was. So he is going to be wandering through the forest, confronting each each one of the different packs. We're actually going to be rolling a dice like we did with Moose and a few of the wolves in the past to determine if the packs we run into are aggressive, in which case we will fight them, or if they are so neutral that they don't know any secrets or they're just wandering through so we leave them be. And there's a little bit of a twist on this. If we can find 12 secrets by taking out 12 of the stranger wolves who roam these hills, cornering them, using whatever tricks Crow might have up his paws to be able to get, get information, gossip, secrets, things that he can use against the packs, not just strength, but also secrets to defend the Dawn pack in their territory, then we'll have the uh, the danger of the Dark Raven pack lifted, and the third litter that Don and Onyx will have will not have to fret. However, if Crow uh, is not able to defeat 12 wolves because he ends up dying in those battles first, then whatever secrets that he could have offered will be lost. So we're looking for 12 wolves, we're going to roll a dice to see if they have a secret for us to be able to steal from them. If we win the battle against them, then we steal the secret. Once we get 12 secrets, the pups are safe because uh, Crow here will have learned enough about the, the, like the Dark Ravens to keep his family, or at least his younger siblings, safe. And uh, if he dies, then he dies. And there's one more twist. It's not just death that could pull him away from this goal either. It's love. If I roll the dice, I have a dice right here in my hands, a beautiful green dice that's clear, and inside of it is a second small white dice. And if I roll these die within a die, and it rolls up as double numbers, the same number, so one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, or six, six, then the next wolf we run into, who happens to be a dispersal female, will be the love of Crow's life. It will be love at first sight, and he will forget all of the things that he was pursuing because that love will make him actually leave to start his own pack. So if he, if he ends up finding the love of his life, we will just let him go, and he will go off to find his own pack, and Dawn and Onyx will have to handle whatever the Dark Raven pack has against their third litter completely in the dark, oblivious other than knowing there is just some sort of danger that looms overhead. So love could distract him from his path as well. So that would be kind of an interesting twist with Crow uh, that I thought you guys would appreciate. There we go, we might as well get a little bit of food. We're gonna need it if we need to heal up in between fighting all the stranger wolves. And then we'll see what kind of secrets we can get. And if we have enough secrets, uh, then hopefully, 
we'll be able to save the third litter and who knows maybe some of the things that we learn and maybe some of the secrets you guys can have us learn about could end up being useful in the future it could make our hunting easier some days it could make our hunting harder some days it could protect us like a secret one of the packs knows about how to protect pups against coyotes that we could learn about or where an item is hiding in the world that i need for my darn achievements all right you are so come on come on you got a lot of stamina don't die on your very first fight with a cow elk please crow but it's gonna be interesting. So yeah, Crow has a chance of falling in love and also like leaving all of the secrets behind to go and start his own family and his own pack. It's, it's gonna be a fun one. Along the way, I'm just hoping that we'll be able to battle enough that we can get closer to the King of the Hill encounter. And we'll just keep fighting either until we have all 12 secrets or until we fall in love. There is a pretty good chance that that could happen too. And once we're done with gathering the secrets, then the third litter will be safe and we'll have to leave the job, unless Crow manages to pull it off, we will have to leave the job of getting all the way up to 50 encounters with a stranger wolf in the paws of a future member of the family. So that is gonna be his journey. He's very curious and I'm very curious because it'll be really fun after we win every battle for you guys to come up with short little secrets that he learned from the other wolves that we might be able to use as big drivers for our stories in the future. So I hope you guys are looking forward to watching Crow as he sneaks through the shadows and steals secrets and I will see you all next time. Bye bye.